Hey guys, today it is Biking Fit 11. Uh, so what I want to share today is obviously you guys should know that I have my a uh, Froy, a Thrustmaster, uh, Froy uh, 458 Spider steering wheel pedal set, just two pedals, nothing fancy, and I was wanting to do pedal upgrades to get a triple pedal. Well, as you guys should know, if you own one, um, it has. Don't worry about this. Oops, sorry, this side. But the, it's got the power cable and then the pedal cable. But I made me an e brake for it. So all you have to do, I'm gonna show you how to make it. But right now, this is just like what it does. So when you pull up this PVC pipe handle, it's just got a 120 volt like microwave door switch. The clicks on there, and I soldered that. I took this apart, and I'll take that apart again to show you guys, but I took it apart, and I started it to the B button. Well, if I pull it up, like so, it, it does it in the game. But to prove that, This is the stuff you will need. Okay, so, one of your first things you have to do. So, this is your steering wheel. I took it off my stand. You just need to undo this. Your, um, so, uh, the thing that actually attaches it to the table. Okay, that's all you gotta do for now. So, this comes off, if I can take it off okay the reason I am not time lapsing this just a little bit part is in case you need to know so you guys can see this should not be like that I scratched it off thinking there was um excuse me Henry so that's off I did on a paper towel first outside is also as for the steering wheel middle is for steering wheel two case is this part and then the underside uh, well the actually top side but uh something one thing it's a uh, crv 2.5 bit so really hold on if i can pick anything up today there you go and then um that's one thing and then so for this back part there is one two three four five six seven eight screws Okay. Well, hold on, wait now. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's eight. And then, um, so that's this side. And now on the back, the front side, actually, the very left and the right screw are real. And that's what that weird bit comes in handy for. Okay, now, since you got all these screws out, and then it's these two, which I counted over there, then you see that, you might be able to see that screw down in there, there's that one, and there's one just like it on the other side, hold on, 
There you go. Uh, you take them out, which I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that. Okay, now that that's done, so this pot's off too. So all you got to do is lift up. Well, oops, I forgot to hook that up uh, earlier. So this should be connected right in. Hold on. That cover connects right on. Come on, phone focus. Okay, right there. Okay, you don't need to mess with any of this. And this piece usually is there. It's actually right here in my hand. You just pull it out. That's how simple it is. I use that so I don't have to drill a hole in anything. This is just speaker wire. I put a link in the description. Two wire nuts. Uh, I'm not linking that. And then just some wire. Now to take this out, you don't. Okay, first of all, I have to undo my wire nuts. So let me go. Ooh, hit the phone uh, stand again. So all I gotta do is undo these wire nuts. And the wires are not twisted together. So this, I'm done with that. That was actually part of the e-brake. So then you just undo this black cable right here. I put my finger on, like right there on the motherboard and then kind of pull. And then this is done. So all you gotta do for this now is you turn it, kind of put your fingers and stuff right like this. You're gonna shift or whatever and just give it a good like you're just gonna kind of like that there we go and it kind of pops so don't be afraid to pull make sure you just do the wires now to get this that wire out the white top one you're just gonna have to turn it sideways and then pull now for your base you're done with that just set that off to the side okay now for this this is the middle the middle is right it was this part that's what that means on that so, it consists of five screws. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and take those out. And then the outside, which is starting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws on the outside. Okay, once you take out all a uh, total of 15 screws, you're going to set everything else aside. Now, I just use like a little baby uh, flathead screwdriver to do it the first time, but all you got to do is, after you do it once, it should be easy. You're just going to pull right there. Now, if anything falls, don't worry, it's really not that big of a deal, but just don't pull straight off though. You're going to see there's going to be little wires you're just going to pull them up they're going to say right and left paddle paddle shifters and then you can see your paddle shifters so done with the paddle shifting mechanism but actually well i'm going to show something first so you're going to have these buttons for your um mm -hmm. oh, crap. your menus and buttons and stuff so you're going to have two they're exactly the same so all you're going to do is set one i set them down in there so I don't lose them. 
it's going to consist of this and this. This just pops in here. And then these, there's going to have a two prong and a one prong side. One prong usually goes up, and then you're done. Just leave it like that so you don't lose them. Now, this is a little messy and all the soldering and crap, but so here, I'm going to pull this down so it's easy. And one reason I thought this was so cool is let me get my camera focus. That's his right pedal, that's left pedal. And then this is X, and then Y, X, Y. So black is X, Y, yellow is X, red is Y. So what that means is X, Y is input, so the power gets split, okay? So there's only one input, but there's two outputs. So it comes into this little guy, which isn't really hard at all. It's just little buttons, like, kind of like that. That's a button right there. That's the LS button, it says. And here's the right OS button. But we were focusing on this, the B button. Was I wanted to do shifters, but I was having problems with that. So this is a normally open type setup. This little hot glue is so I don't have to solder straight to the board. I put more hot glue back. Yes, that's really all they use. Just a dab of hot glue to hold the wires in place. Um, I just put it back. It's a little messy, and that's all the soldering there. Now this... Oh, and there is one zip tie you'll have to cut on the other base, but I already did that. So this is, that says B, A, B, A. Same concept as this, but this I soldered in um, a red to the red, and then a black to the black. There. That way, I have red and black right here. Now on my speaker wire, I put electrical tape, the one that goes to the black. Okay? Now... That's not hard to do, so once you do that, you're just going to reassemble all of it. Okay, for reassembly, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your top. Well, this is actually your back, because it has the shifters on it. So you want to set that down just like this. Next thing you want to do is you want to kind of um, get it like this, if this makes sense. You want to kind of lay it down. Here, I'll do it this way. So it's easy for you guys to see. You're going to take your long black cable. I usually throw it under these. So it's less, more out of the way. Less out of the way. Yeah, more out of the way. If I could talk. Um, and then you take these red and black ones. The one you put in. And it doesn't have to be red and black. I just did red and black because that was the color that it always already was. So to me, that made more sense to do that. But you guys can do whatever you want. Then you slowly type your top 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 piece towards you. But make sure you just hook in these. It's not hard. If you if you get confused, sorry, but you, it's not. Uh, let me turn it on. So all you have to do is hook up these to these. So it's, you just trace it. So for the uh, this one, your downshift it says. Is going to be your left paddle, paddle L. And then you want to take the top, make sure your wires are through, all of all three, or, or as many as you're doing. Now keep in mind, you can do the same type thing for your clutch though. So that way you could have a clutch, a little like clutch um, as a pedal, extra pedal, for example. So this is back together.
Okay, so once you get all your screws in, you just gotta uh, twist that back in there and then remount your thing. But now for this, so I'm gonna show a parts list at the end of the video. So you can probably hear clicking. I'm gonna try to set this up. Well, hold on. So let me trade places. Let me put the wheel down and I'll leave this up. Okay, so. <laughs> So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set the camera back up. I'm sorry if it's long, I'm just, it's not, it's been a while since I've done a video. I'm kind of excited because I got this done. And it didn't bone me, or shock me, or kill me. Because a lot of my projects really hurt me and stuff. So, all simple stuff. Half inch PVC pipe, a rubber band, everybody has a rubber band. Some screws that are, mm, uh, two to three inches long. That's it. And then, um... So, and then, yeah, just the connectors at the back, microwave switch, some, like I said, screws, and then speaker wire, and then connectors, and that's it. Because then I put a little screw in the bottom, so this holds. And then I put a screw through the middle. This is just some wood. I had it lying around. You can paint it. Do whatever the crap you want with it. I'm probably going to paint this box, actually. But all you have to do is put the screw through. That's so it doesn't go all the way down. And the bands pull it down, see? Don't worry about breaking it. Now on the back, you should be able to see. That's all that does. And so then, really, it just screws. I did the one side, and then I put some screws in the switch so it stays up there.